I haven't downloaded or installed it yet. Uh, it does require a virtual box, so we'll go through the process together. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is uh, download VirtualBox. Let's go here. Let's close this guy here, and let's take a look. Uh, VirtualBox, box, uh, OS 10 hosts. There we go. Uh, nope, back. This is the one we want here. Okay, so this is gonna be the download, and then you just wanna download OS 10 hosts. We'll do it together. And while that's downloading, I'm gonna look for GENY Motion Virtual Box. Okay. Okay, install documentation, virtual box. Let's try it from here. All right, uh, so to install JNU Motion, follow the steps corresponding to your operating system. Okay, so let's see what they got here. To download JNU Motion for Mac OS, download and install VirtualBox OS 10 host. Uh, that's what we're currently doing. Uh, let's open it up. All right, while that's doing its uh, unpackaging, we'll do this. Okay, so when installing VirtualBox in custom setup window, make sure VirtualBox networking is enabled. Okay, when finished reboot, and then we want to go to Motion download page and open the DMG file. Okay, so let's go here. And so this is just our VirtualBox. Let's download, continue, continue, install. We're going to put in our password. That's your Mac password that you use to log into your account. Okay, we'll let that run in the background. Okay. Let's see if I can remember this password. All right, I remember the password. It's a miracle. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so uh, we're gonna download for Mac OS 10. So let's see what we have here. Windows, Linux. Okay, these are other downloads. All right, let's do this. Download for Mac OS 10. Then it says how to register my license. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, registering the license key. To register your license key, you must have a valid Jenny Motion account. To create your account, do this, blah, 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 blah. To register your Jenny Motion license key, start Jenny Motion in one of the following ways, depending on your operating system. Got it, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll install. Okay, so let's... What is this? Okay, this is just letting us know that VirtualBox is done. Move to trash. We don't need that anymore. Now that's installed. Virtual box is good. And let's open up this Jenny Motion DMG. We'll keep this how to window on the side here. All right, now that that's opened, we're going to place the Jenny Motion shell into the applications folder and the Jenny Motion application. We'll let those copy over. Okay, now that that's copied over, we can close this and we can eject both of those. We no longer need them. Now let's see if we can go to VirtualBox. So let's launch VirtualBox first. And as you can see, I have this Andy emulator here, which I'm not really happy with, uh, but we'll leave it in there just for like troubleshooting purposes. All right, and now we're gonna go into applications and let's launch the Jenny Motion app. And we'll hit open. Jenny Motion for personal use. Excellent. Yep, 
user. It already has my user there. Let's see what other instructions we have. Okay. Settings. And now we're in our account. Signed in as Synchro Duo. Okay. Current license is personal use. Okay, so we don't actually have to put in a license since we're using it. Um, okay, since we're using it for personal use. All right, let's minimize this guy. Virtual devices, okay. The path to store virtual devices is valid. Let's hit browse. Okay, that looks good. Count, that looks good. That looks good. And from the add, let's pick a device that we want to use. So for instance, we we'll use a Google Nexus device model. Let's pick the Google Nexus 10. And we'll pick one of these here with the most recent version. Let's hit next virtual device name, uh, we'll do Google Nexus, API 22, that's fine. You can rename this whatever you want. And let's hit next. And it's downloading the files necessary. All right, and it'll automatically place it into your virtual box directory. Hit finish. And let's see if we can start it. All right, looks like it's beginning to run. That's the other thing to be aware of. You don't want to run it from the virtual box. Uh, you actually want to run it from the Jenny Motion app. Uh, otherwise, you'll get like crashes and all sorts of weird errors and stuff. All right, so let's minimize this, and it looks like it's starting up. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so it says welcome wallpapers widgets touch to customize it will say okay got it all that looks good menu and then the thing about this is by default you don't get the app store so you actually have to download and install the app store if I remember correctly yes okay so let's say G apps and if you hit the top top right button up here it'll install the app store and stuff so it's going to ask for permission and you have to agree to it we'll say accept all right so open g apps uh have been successfully installed on the virtual device and let's restart now you can minimize this window you don't need it Let's wait for this guy to start running again, and then we'll see if we can successfully download an app from the Google Play Store and use it. Okay, so we're looking good. Let's see if we can go into the App Store. The Play Store here. Checking info. Come on, come on, check away. Okay, let's sign in. I'm gonna use my personal Gmail here. All right, next. And accept. Do I wanna back up to Google Drive? Uh, no, thank you. Next. Okay, that looks good. And let's try to download an app. Okay. Chess. And chess. Click this guy here. And install. 
Let's see how it works. Accept. All right, so far so good. It looks like it's downloading. We'll see if we can launch it and use it. We installed and let's launch it. All right, so far so good. Let's see if we can play against the computer. Start. And there we go. We have a fully functioning Android emulator on our Mac. And so far the performance isn't great. So that's one of the things that you have to consider uh, depending on what you're gonna be doing with this emulator. You want to tweak the uh, resolution. You wanna tweak the um, device that you're emulating uh, depending on what you're trying to get done. So that's just something to consider. But the in initial setup process is complete and you can freely go add and remove uh, virtual devices uh, based on your needs. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.